So we're here today um, to celebrate with Sati House um, and welcoming the holy month of Ramadan. Um, we've enjoyed some really lovely food. Um, some of the ladies have uh, performed a traditional Islamic song for us um, and we've also got some art and craft activities. It's been a really lovely day and a really lovely kind of like scene setter for the month coming ahead. Um, and it's a chance to kind of like bring the local community together um, and celebrate um, and welcome in the month and kind of just prepare yourselves and say, look, we are going to be facing this together. Um, and hopefully at the end of it, we'll all be celebrating together as well. Sati House is um, at the heart of the community in Aston and it's for all of the people in Aston. Mainly we focus on women and children um, because it gives the women a safe space to come to. But as you've seen, there are men here to die and the ladies feel very safe with the men that are here to die. It's, it's just a good way of saying, come on, let's celebrate with food, that they're coming in and let them come because the next 30 days will be, you know, quiet and peaceful and more about, like reflection, reflection on yourself maybe, and just to think about others who are less fortunate than yourself. With over a quarter of Birmingham's population identifying as Muslim, Ramadan is one of the most observed religious commemorations in the city. So Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim calendar. It's a very important time for Muslims across the city and across the world. We fast from daybreak until sunset. Um, we are also especially attentive to our prayers. We give extra in charity. And we're just mindful of our actions and our relationships with each other and with God. Um, in Birmingham, there's a really large Muslim community who have um, roots and connections all over the world. Um, and it's one of those things that brings us together, regardless of your background and your heritage. It's one of the things that you know during the month of Ramadan, your fellow Muslim, regardless of where they come from or how they practice Islam, they're all going through the same thing as you.